In this match, he definitely didn't want to wrestle me as I continued to hit countless slide-bys and I almost messed up big time. Alrighty, what's up? Good morning, vlog. Now, we leave today to go to Southwest Minnesota State for our wrestling duel. Now, we don't compete until tomorrow night, so there's definitely a lot of time before then. But still, I have to wake up. I have to pack everything. I, you know, had to pack all my G fuels, get get me ready. Gotta, <laughs> gotta stay dialed in for the weekend. And actually, I weighed myself this morning. I was only 144.5, especially on this scale, too. This scale's a little heavy, so, like, I'm basically only, let's say, three. So basically, I'm only like three pounds over with, you know, like 48 hours in advance. So that's absolutely amazing. I'm super hyped for that. I'm feeling good. I'm literally about to go in here to get just a little workout in in the wrestling room, probably just on the aero bike and stuff, just so that my body can be moving. And especially when I'm sitting all day in the car that I'm not just being lazy. So, and then also I got a couple new things in my room. I got like, you know, my new shoe shelf. Absolutely love that. And then also I hung up the wrestling mindset poster. And so I've used this all the time. You guys can see those are the mindset principles, which is I'm thankful for the opportunity to wrestle. I'm aggressive and relentless. I have no fear of losing or making mistakes and I never ever give up. So having that kind of constant reminder, kind of wherever you are, just to kind of keep your mindset at that level where it's like your peak performance. I suggest you guys to do the same. But let's go to the sack, let's get a little workout in. Well, nice little roll in here, went on the bike, did some stretching. Basically, the point of this wasn't to get necessarily a crazy sweat in, even though we are sweating, like that aero bike. I would rather do any wrestling workout, any running workout, but that bike is insane. That bike is tough. I don't know what's, what's worse though. It's either the, the bike or uh, it's kind of like that mountain climber thing you see they have at Penn State. That thing when I went there, oh my gosh. Talk like, you can go for 30 seconds. That's about it. That thing was insane, but um, eight hour car ride to Minnesota. So thankfully the weather is a little bit better. So at least it's not, you know, bad weather situation too bad, but uh, it's getting warmer here. So thankfully it's not in the negatives. It's only 12 degrees, but I'm gonna shower up here, head on the road, get to Minnesota. rolling in here, rolled for just about an hour or so. Uh, Corg and I did some sparring at the end there. Uh, didn't record here, just getting the good old phone camera today, but um, just focusing on the weight because I was like four, four and a half over, um, but just dialing in here and uh, feeling good, feeling a lot better. I actually like at a lower weight and getting used to the cut. So shout out to Cauliflower Con back here for the, the merch and hopefully we lost some weight. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Woke up today, we're legit on weight, which I mean, congrats to us. Let's celebrate with a good old G Fuel. Drinking raging gummy fish today. And I'll tell you what, I said this before, but carbonated drinks when you're cutting weight, man. Now, of course, you know, I could be drinking like some electrolytes and stuff and definitely like after the weigh-in, especially with like getting your sodium up, of course, retaining water in your system is super crucial. I, I do want to say that. But anyways, I just want to say too that I just got... We just got 10 colorway mock-ups of my future wrestling shoe, also with clashes and uh, I, I made a post in my broadcast channel on Instagram. If you guys aren't in that, I suggest to go in there. I share a lot of exclusive information over on there. So you guys definitely should go subscribe to the broadcast channel. It's completely free. I send a bunch of free updates there, but um, basically, 
Um, I do want to say this. A lot of you guys are asking release dates. The earliest that anything would be released would be April. So, you know, this has literally been like, you know, a five month process. And especially with having like creating like an own, your own wrestling shoe brand, it, it takes, it, it's a lot of work and especially a lot of time with suppliers and going back and forth. And I couldn't do this without um, Brock, the guy I'm working with. But basically these colorways are insane. The, the plans that we have, the, the vision we have set forth, it's really to make the best wrestling shoe colorways and you know just best wrestling shoe in general. We got this custom sole on and I'm really just taking a lot of time, effort and putting, utilizing all my resources on this to you know help you guys get an affordable wrestling shoe that you guys actually love to wear. But other than that, we're focusing on wrestling today. Southwest Minnesota State, in the past, we beat them pretty drastically. We're just gonna continue the dominance and we're gonna have fun doing it. I'm down to weight pretty close, like I said, so I'm feeling good and we're gonna go get a workout in here and. Just stay loose. Alrighty, so wor workout done. I came in here only six ounces over. Now their skill, compared to ours, let's just say is like half a pound light, which I mean, it was great because during the, uh, the whole time in the hotel, every time you step on the scale, um, in my head you're really just subtracting actually like half a pound, which is so great, but I got a great sweat in here. I'm double layered pants up. Um, I didn't wear just a top on top today because honestly, I just feel so slow when I have like so much stuff on, but like even my legs, I still feel slow, but it's kind of like a baseball bat, you know, how you put like a donut on the bat, you swing it a couple times and it's just like, it's like heavy, but then when you take that weight off, you swing that bat like the fastest thing ever. So basically that's how I view like wrestling with like in lots of clothes, but I wonder if there could be like, I know you have resistance bands in wrestling you can do. I'd use Adopa bands all the time, but either like ankle weights, wrestling with ankle weights, that might be actually a really good challenge. Um, I'll have to think about that, but feeling good on our feet, feeling confident in our attacks, and I'm gonna work for, you know, a tech fall, or, you know, if it, if it pins there, it pins there, but I'm really just focusing on just dominating, and I think the best way to dominate is a tech fall, guys, so just gotta shut up and wrestle at this point. Put the pain on, let's put the pressure on, let's get points on the board. Action. Up, up. Oh. 
we go. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. Very awkward wrestler is Henschel. Some shooting like practice for me. That's a fight inside. Nice. That's a fight inside. Nice. Right two for two. Right two for two. Side by the fielder. Right here. Dude, you can't even see it. Big lift. Got one minute, Henschel. Right over his head. Look at that arch, bro. Ben. Hey, let's go, boy. 
Dude, you've been doing this for how long and you're still in a game? That boy bad? Yeah, why is this one right all of a sudden? Nice. Yep. You mean with it? Yup. Put it up again. Hey, pull him in. Pull center. Pull center. Pull center. That's it. Nice shoot. Nice Hold that. Nice shoot. 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 Hey guys, I just missed the most intense scramble in the history of wrestling. Sorry. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. One more, shoot. I mean, Kaden. Kaden, you can just pay for my callers if, if that, you don't want to give me the cash. Hit it! I'm not funny. Are you, are you not seeing fucking recording? We're not aiming. Here you go. Fight there, T! Fight, fight! fight. You guys can say whatever you want. Um, no. Hi. Parkside's the best. <laughs> Wrestling is the best. <laughs> Parkside's the best. Wait, is this like your video? Did. Mine. Go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. I don't want to see you anymore. So after the duel, there was, you know, a wrestling team that showed up to actually support. Uh, shout out to Red Rock Central Wrestling. And then we actually went to Culver's kind of just as together, our team and them, and had a fun time. Those kids were super fun, super funny. And then we ended up, of course, on the eight-hour drive with Mafia, which it's simply the best game for long car rides, especially on a wrestling team. But I just want to kind of break down my match. I mean, like, holy cow. The bonus point dominance has been insane, and it's just, I'm on a streak, I'm peaking at the right time, and I know there's so much so better I can do. You can see in, the, in that match, I didn't shoot a leg attack at all. And I do wanna to touch on this too, that announcer, if you guys wanna go listen back on the stream on the NSIC, NSIC network, he was giving crap to our entire team. Pretty uncalled for, super bad. We were getting texts from literally every parent on the team and everyone just was listening, was just like, it just seemed like so fake, like to be honest.
honest, it was it was horrific. Long story short, it doesn't really matter. People can talk all they want, but my slide buys were on point. And to be honest, that wasn't even necessarily like my bread and butter where I've reached over the top and grabbed the tricep. It was basically just a shuck buy and you know, it's just in those matches. It's just like, you know what, if it's broke, don't fix it. And you know, if he doesn't learn to defend the move, I'm gonna keep hitting it because there, it makes no sense for me to go in a more risky position or go onto a leg and get into weird scrambles when I can simply do that move. And one thing I will say is shout out to Chi because uh, after Chi teched his guy basically on fr uh, front headlock go behinds, and he came off the bat and said to coach like, I found his weakness. And basically the same thing happens was, sure, Chi got that, found that guy's weakness. He put him in a front headlock go behind. What did I do? I just did my slide by, and that was that was the weakness there. So it's finding the weaknesses in each opponent. Not every opponent is gonna be the same. You have to wrestle them differently. You know, we look at my Mary match. That guy was susceptible to double legs. You look at this match. He was susceptible to slide bys. At the end of the day, you have to figure out the weakness, and it's all up to you to do that. And lastly, I wanna leave you off with a cool Bible quote, actually, that I have utilized in my life, especially recently, just read it this week. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled, but those who humble themselves will be exalted. Basically what that's saying is if you think you're the hot shot and you show it, you're gonna get humbled. Someone is gonna humble you and whatever that circumstance is, you will be humbled. But if you can humble yourself from the beginning, no matter your accomplishments, no matter what you've done in the past, others or however the situation goes will exalt you. We can't just be blowing up our egos all the time, especially if you know you win a big tournament or your followers go up or whatever that is. So those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. But that's gonna end off the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. All the links are in the description below for Cauliflower Combat Gear, Perler Wrestling. And with that being said, thank you so much to the patrons supporting me over there and we'll see you guys next video